Hey friends, this is the Miss of Olfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to dehydrate our first bunch of kale from the garden. Okay, this is about one quarter of the kale I got from my garden. Now, I only put one row in because in the past I haven't had a whole lot of success growing kale. But I'm going to, what I've done is I grow my kale and all my garden without pesticides and herbicides. And if you'll notice, there's chew marks all over this. Now, that means when I pick it, there very well may be little green worms and things on the kale. So what I do is, is I take this kale, which I've destemmed and given the stems to the goats. I filled a stock pot with cold water and I added about a quarter cup of salt and I just soaked it because if there's anything alive like bugs of any kind or anything they will um, they will try and get away from the salt so they'll they'll try they'll get off the leaves they'll float to the top they'll die whatever and then you rinse so while I'm loading the trays and you're going to see above my above me here that there is some facts about kale. Now I only put one row of kale in, and hopefully, like this is about a quarter of my row. And nobody in our house actually likes kale, but it is such a powerhouse of nutrition that even if you don't like it, and trust me, folks, most people I know don't like this stuff. But there is a way of getting it into your family by stealth so what i do is because we tried cooking this once and it was like bleh, and no matter how we did it it just wasn't up to par so now all i do is i dehydrate it and i grind it up like parsley and i put it in everything i'm not kidding folks you can put a couple of tablespoons in this and your chocolate muffins no one's going to notice the difference but you're adding vitamins and minerals and iron and all kinds of really good Foods. This is a super food. It really is. If you're anything like me, and any, I, I watch very little TV. The reason being is, is I really hate commercials. I hate commercials that tell you about a pain reliever that, you know, ask your doctor about such and such. And then it gives you a list of probably 15 different side effects, if not more, that to me the risk does not outweigh the benefit okay then there's things like uh glucerna and boost and all these other vitamin rich supposedly vitamin rich shakes that if we if you're on the run and you don't always get the food that you're the nutrients you're supposed to get eat these cereal bars and drink these chocolate strawberry vitamin boost things and blah 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 you know why you know why the big push is folks because the food that we eat today unless it is organically grown and I know folks we can't all afford organically grown hybridization isn't bad but you're not getting the nutrients of the parent plant that that it used to grow from so I guess my point is our food is losing its nutrition and Big Pharma is trying to replace our food nutrition with chemical nutrition. Just saying. I'm just saying. So, if you can grow your own, please folks, heirloom organic vegetables. They are so, so important. If you live in the country and you know where there's wild apple trees along the side of the roads, go and get those wild apples. They may not look the best, they may have spots, they may not be the nicest shape or the nicest color, but guess what? I'll guarantee they're higher in nutrition than something that you've bought, store-bought from the store that's been either genetically modified or, or hybridized. I, I dehydrate mine. I grind it into powder and I add it to everything. I put it, I put powdered kale on my popcorn. I put powdered kale in my spaghetti sauce. I put powdered kale on top of mashed potatoes and, and how he thinks it's parsley. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying don't let pharma 
kid you into thinking that food supplements can replace good honest nutrition. Take care. Bye-bye.